Hi, this is Mark Porto with another tech tip from Automotive Research and Design. Today's topic is air conditioning compressors on hybrid versus traditional vehicles. Uh, on the bench here I have uh, two compressors. One compressor is from a 2001 Toyota Prius that uses a traditional belt driven compressor. And on uh, your left we have an electric air conditioning compressor from a 2004 uh, Toyota Prius which uses a three phase uh, power inverter that powers a three-phase motor inside the air conditioning compressor. One of the reasons that uh, the hybrids went to electric air conditioning is because when you go to an auto stop condition on the hybrid, uh, the engine stops. And uh, for passengers in the cabin, uh, if they're stopped for a considerable time, it can get warm. So on this system here, you can continue to run the air conditioning compressor even though the engine's not running. So again, it's electrically powered. It gets powered uh, off from the power inverter. Uh, the power inverter then flips the DC from the battery to AC and then runs the three-phase AC motor over here. Most hybrids have gone to, uh, most if not all, have gone to electric uh, compressors including Ford, GM, Lexus, and so on. So some of them have, uh, in the case of Toyota here in the 04, they have a compressor that's built inside of the power inverter to send power down to the compressor. In other models, you'll find out that there's only two cables going down to the compressor a positive and negative, and uh, the power inverter is actually built inside of the air conditioning compressor. So you can have two different uh, variations of that. They are variable frequency drive type of uh, air conditioning compressors where you uh, can vary the speed of the compressor, which is going to determine how much cooling you get. So everything is variable with these. So you have much more control, it's, it's much higher efficiency, and uh, you can also run the compressor during the engine stop. So that's your tip for today. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.